Hey, sports card fans, it's John, Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. Before I get into the one vintage card uh, pickup that I want to show off, I want to talk about Chris from Missouri. Now, if you're not familiar with Chris's channel, I will have a link to his channel in the description of this video. Uh, so definitely go check him out. Well, what Chris is doing, he's celebrating reaching 600 subscribers to his channel but he's celebrating it in a little different way. Rather than do a video response or some challenge uh, to enter into his contest, he wants to do a fundraiser. Now, the fundraiser that he's doing is to support Mike Baseball Collector. I'm sure you're all familiar with Mike's channel. Well, every year, Mike, his wife Julie, and members of their church go on a mission trip. And this year, they're going to Ecuador. And what Chris wants to do is do a fundraiser to support that mission trip. I guess there's an opportunity for some of the children uh, within the church to go along on that mission trip. And of course, these mission trips, uh, they're not cheap. Uh, so it takes uh, some money to uh, travel down and uh, stay down there and uh, do the, the, the mission that uh, they're, they're looking to do. So... What Chris uh, is doing, he's asking for uh, donations, and for every, I think every $10 that you donate, he does have two prizes, two really, really nice cards that he is giving away. I think for every $10, uh, you get an entry into the drawing. And I will have a link to one of Chris's videos that describes all the details, one, why he's doing it, how you go about, where you send the money and all that stuff. Uh, I'll have a link of that video, again, in the description of this video. So one, uh, go check out Chris's channel. Uh, if you're not familiar with him, uh, give him some support. He has an amazing vintage collection and also a really nice guy. And also check out that video where he goes in and uh, goes into detail, describes his giveaway fundraising contest so all right uh, with that the one card that i have to uh, show off is a purchase from four sharp corners uh, i've been going to their uh, website uh, a, a lot lately checking uh, to see what inventory they have they do list some items for auction and buy it now on ebay but for their buy it now uh, listings on ebay uh, if you go and buy from their store directly, uh, you may be able to save a little bit of money because they uh, don't have to pay the eBay fees and all that stuff. So I've been checking out that website and picking up some some uh, really good cards. Uh, nothing uh, too crazy expensive, but nice bargains. And so the one player that I picked up, I think is, a, is an underrated player within the hobby, but was one of the best pitchers of his uh, era so let's turn the camera around i'm going to show off the one card and a couple other of his uh, vintage cards that i have in my collection so let's go check it out okay the player that i'm talking about that i think is underrated in the hobby but was an amazing pitcher is jim palmer and the card that i just picked up from four sharp corners is his 1972 tops picked this up in a psa 6 uh, again for a reasonable price uh, four sharp corners in addition again to saving money uh, off of their ebay listing uh, they often have uh, sales sometimes it's a, a full week of a particular sale sometimes it's just a weekend sort of a flash sale but uh, you you usually can find uh, some pretty good bargains on four sharp corners so I, I'm definitely going to be checking that website out uh, more often but really loved the centering on this card um, again this was a maybe $25 purchase something like that in that neighborhood and so I, I think it was a really good deal sharp that centering is is perfect really nice uh, corners it's in a one of the newer slabs and check out the back here Really nice clean back, fairly well centered. Very happy to add this 72 tops Jim Palmer to my collection. And so I thought I'd show off the, the 
other Jim Palmer cards that I have. Uh, of course, I have his rookie card here from 1966 in a PSA 4. Then I'm starting a little bit of a run here. Uh, I have his 74 in a PSA 7. Just love that action shot there of uh, almost like the, the catcher's view. And I have his 75. This was another recent pickup. Uh, this was a, an eBay purchase, I believe. Um, PSA 6. Then I have his 76 in a PSA 7. Another nice action shot there. Uh, Palmer was known, uh, if you haven't seen videos or don't, you know, weren't around to see him pitch, he had that really uh, top down um, pitching motion where his, his, his arm would be, you know, really on, on, on top and it would just drop down. Uh, very interesting and, and unique uh, pitching motion. And so I'm missing his 77. But I have his 78 in a really nice PSA 9. Love that image, that all-star shield. Then we have his 79 in a PSA 8. And his 1980 in a PSA 8. So in terms of the Jim Palmer tops run, uh, from the vintage side, I'm missing seven of his cards. And in total, I'm missing 11 because he goes to uh, his last tops card is in 1984. So this may be one where uh, I'll try to pick up. Uh, I have my eye on a potential 77. Um, the 73 is also a really uh, nice action uh, shot that I'm uh, missing from the run here. And then it's, of course, that... Uh, uh, missing the 73, and then it's the 67 through 71. Uh, those are the bigger ones, of course, that I would need to uh, pick up to complete the run. But, yeah, this may be a player. Obviously, Jim Palmer, again, I think within the hobby, uh, is a bit underrated, which uh, is good for me because it means he doesn't command top uh, prices uh, for his cards. So I think, again, for some of the 60s, I may be able to pick up uh, maybe some PSA 4s, uh, my my <laughs> beautiful uh, PSA 4s that I love. Maybe a PSA 5 here and there. Uh, and then uh, probably the 81 through 84, I'm sure I can pick up in a PSA 8 uh, for not too much. But uh, there you go, uh, my little Jim Palmer run. But the pickup, uh, most recent pickup here, the 72 Tops Jim Palmer. So with that, again, definitely go check out Chris from Missouri's channel and his contest, his fundraiser, and hope that you can support that. With that, that's all I have for you. So until next time, thanks for watching.